Good morning. It's a brand new week. We have a lot to talk about today. And um, we are almost at the end of school. This is our last week of videos, but I will make one every day this week. Okay? So, I just want to show you this thing first. We have butterflies. We have butterflies. We have three so far. So there's one here. And there's one here. And the, ooh, that one flew a little. They don't fly very much. Um, yes, you can see when they open their wings, that's when you can see all the colors. When they're sitting still, they're mostly brown. And then when they open their wings, you can see lots of orange and white polka dots. They're called painted lady butterflies. So when I woke up on Saturday morning, we had one. And then when I woke up on Sunday morning, we had two. Sometime during the day yesterday, which was Sunday, we had a third. And I was taking pictures here and there throughout, wondering what I should send you. It's hard to take pictures, as you can see, through the netting. I can see better in through the top, so I might send you some of the pictures that I took from the top. I thought we might release the butterflies today, but can you see? There's still one chrysalis left. Now, it might not have a butterfly come out of it. Um, nature is sort of funny that way. Um, I've been doing these caterpillar cups that turn into butterflies for years and most years all of the caterpillars turn into butterflies. I get five or six caterpillars and then I get five or six butterflies, but not every year. And I don't know exactly what goes wrong. There was one year when we had six chrysalids and three fell. And I thought those three would die, but what happened was we had six butterflies, but three of them couldn't fly very well. The three that fell and the three that were in chrysalids um, were fine. This year, I had one of our caterpillars just disappear. I think he must have gotten buried underneath their food and stuff. And um, so we only had four, we started with five caterpillars, then we had four chrysalises, and I don't know why this last one hasn't come out yet. So I'm going to give it another day or two, and we'll see what happens. And then we'll let these three go, and we'll, I'll, have, I'll have one of my kids help me so that we can carry the butterflies outside, and we can carry, carry the phone and videotape the whole thing with the butterflies flying away. And we'll figure out where we want to be when we open it up if I stay in my yard or maybe walk to a park or something. We will see. So probably I will release them tomorrow. Uh-oh, my cat just noticed them. Evelyn, could you go put them where they're safe? Oh, this isn't fully zipped either. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't say taking him. I was going to say take them. I'll put them up where he can't reach them. Maybe up on top of the books in the dining room. Um, so we will see... Um, if the last chrysalis has a butterfly come out and, um, and then when we decide to take them out and set them free because I want them to get to live among the flowers because that's where butterflies are supposed to live. Okay, let's pray. Fold your hands, close your eyes and bow your heads. Hmm. Dear Heavenly Father, you are good. Thank you. We love you. Thank you for a brand new week. Thank you for a really fun weekend. And thank you for these kids I get to teach. Bless each one while we're apart. I pray that we'd be able to see each other again soon. Keep us all healthy and safe and strong. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, oh, the kitty cat's very interested. He wants to know where the butterflies went. Do you want to be in the video again? Come here. Here's the kitty cat. Here's the kitty cat. His name is Phoenix. Okay, so let's see. We prayed and we should practice our Bible verses. Phoenix, you gonna get down? Okay. 
A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created, God created the heavens and the earth, the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, 1, Genesis 1, 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. <clears throat> His love endures forever. Psalm 118, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 118, verse 1. For a child will be born to us. Isaiah 9, verse 6. For a child will be born to us. Isaiah 9, verse 6. Who was the child? Jesus. And did he stay a child? No. Jesus grew, grew, grew. Jesus grew, grew, grew. In body and in wisdom. Jesus grew, grew, grew. Jesus grew, grew, grew. In body and in wisdom. Luke 2, 52. Okay. <clears throat> we love because he first loved us, we love. Because he first loved us, we love. We love. We love. Because he first loved us. First John 4, 19. Okie dokie. Mm. Trust in God, trust also in Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 1. Trust in God, trust also in Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 1. Okay, and our last verse, it goes for the month of May, our last month of school. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Isaiah 41, 10. Okay. We did prayer. We did Bible verses. I hope you're helping with jobs at home. Oh, you know what? Some kids really are. I got some great emails. Let's see. Lily has been helping with the cooking a lot. That's why I thought of it just now. Um, she actually puts, <laughs> she was putting marshmallows into a pan on the stove. I wasn't sure what they were making. But I'm in favor of melted marshmallows, definitely. Um, and they also made lots of healthy looking food, lots of vegetables and things. I got lots of pictures of her cooking. She and her sister and her brother were all in a little pool in their yard because it got pretty hot over the weekend. Um, they were making giant, giant bubbles. I mean, giant, giant bubbles. It was awesome. Um, that's something that I sometimes do the last week of school if I actually get to play with the kids, but I don't get to play with you this week. I hope you're playing really cool things. Maybe you can find out how to make giant, giant bubbles. Um, they were doing chalk on the sidewalk. They were playing with Tinker Toys, which is another really good toy. I've got a few at my house, and my mommy has a bunch at her house, including the ones I had when I was a little girl. Um, Joanna sent me pictures. She was doing the letter X pages in a workbook. She did the Handwriting Without Tears Wet Dry Try app, making the letter X. She also painted a beautiful picture of a letter F, and it said F is for forgive and had a Bible verse. And she ordered the same kind of caterpillars we have so she can have her own butterflies. And I think some others of you have done that. That's such a great thing to do. You can have your own caterpillars and butterflies in your houses. Um... Oh, yes, and I got a really nice drawing from Francesca. Thank you, Francesca. It was labeled letter X drawing, and there was an X in the drawing, but there were lots of other good things, too. She had the sun in the sky. She had butterflies and hearts, and um, let's see. Oh, there was a star. 
It's hard to draw a star. She drew a star. Um, lots of things. It was a really nice drawing. So thank you to those of you who sent me emails. And I would love to get emails from any or all of you. Um, so let's see, I mentioned jobs. Let's do calendar. Here is the calendar. And that was Friday. And we had a weekend, so we missed a couple of days. That was Saturday when we... Um, I don't know what you do on Saturday. I had a very nice Saturday. I went out for a drive with Mr. Awad. Our kids are big enough we can leave them at home. So we got went for a drive and went and went for a little bit of a walk and just had some time away from our house, which we have not done very much of. So that was nice. And Sunday is church day, right? So we watch church on our TV together. And then that one's today. So let's see. I think we need one of each color, right? Blue, orange, pink. Blue, orange, pink. Blue, orange, pink orange pink blue orange pink blue orange pink blue was Saturday orange and pink for today okay I've got my scissors I've got my paper I've got a little piece of orange so I can cut it in half my family are cute my family is cute the people in my family are cute I said that wrong the first time okay they were walking by being very silly. Okay. I'm getting some pieces that are the right size. One in each color. I'm getting a marker. Ta-da. Okay. So the last piece we put on here was one five. So I need a blue with a 1-6. Here it is, 1-6. 1-6. And I'll glue that on. Right next to Friday's. Friday was the last day that we had school for video. Okay, and then this one is for Sunday, which is church day. After blue, we, do, we need an orange. Here's the orange. That's a good size. And after one six, we need one seven. Here it is, one seven. And I'll glue that on right at the beginning of the week. Because we, church day is the first day of the week, Sunday. Here we go. That goes right there. And then this one is today. After orange, we need pink. After 1-7, we need 1-8. There it is. One eight. Okay. And that's the one that means today. So we look up, up, up from there to get the day of the week. It starts with M. Mm -hmm. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Which one was this? It means today? Monday. Okay, and then we go up to the big word at the top of the calendar. Mm -hmm. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Which one was this month? May. January, February, March, and April. May. That's where we are. We're about halfway through the year. Um, and now we count the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. 
So today is Monday, May 18th, 2020. You say it with me. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020. Monday, May 18th, 2020. Okay, May is in the springtime. We had the beginnings of some summer weather over the weekend, but the truth is this has been kind of a cool, kind of a mild springtime, and I'm very thankful. Some years it feels like we go straight from winter to summer, and spring is just either winter weather or summer weather. We're getting lots of lovely in-between weather this year, not too hot and not too cold. I'm very thankful for that. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what's the weather today? Plenty of sunshine, plenty of rain. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Okay, well, it is cloudy today. I can look out the windows and I can see that the sky is gray. I can also tell without even looking at the windows that not as much sunlight is streaming in. You know how it is on a really sunny day, how the sun just comes bursting in. So, oh well, it's kind of gray, but it will still be nice and warm. I think high 60s, so that should be really nice to go outside today. And um, Mondays we have library, so make sure you're reading plenty of books. And we have music, and I'm attaching the link to Miss Rebecca's music lesson for you too. And then we usually meet a new letter person, but we have met all the letter people. So what I have here is the bag of letter people that I have at home. I do not have all 26 letter people at home. You know there are 26 letters? 26. How about we sing the letter song first? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Now I know my A B C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? Okay, in this bag, I have all the letter people that I brought home with me. So let's see who is this one. Do you see her? She's Miss, hmm, do you know? Miss J, I'm Miss J with my jingle jingle jacket. I'm Miss J with my jingle jingle jacket. Whenever I jump, my jacket jingle jingles. Whenever I stop, not a sound. Okay, so she has a jingle jacket. You hear the J sound? J says J, J says J, every letter makes a sound, J says J. Let's see who else we have in, in this bag. <laughs> Who's this? <gasps> she has the longest laugh. Look at that big mouth laughing. <clears throat> She's Miss L, right? I cannot think of how her song goes right now. She has the longest laugh. She laughs a lot in her song. Can you see how her teeth look like the letter L? Goes down and across, but doesn't quite touch. And then down and across, and doesn't quite touch. Down and across, no. Down and across, down and across. Lots of L's. <laughs> Miss L. L says L. L says L. Every letter makes a sound. L says ooh. Oh, this is the one we met just last week. He was on top. I was careful not to grab him first. He's Mr. X. X. And he walks on his hands, and he's different from the others, but he still likes himself, and he likes you even though you're different from him. His song says, sounds like, I like me even though I'm different from you. I like me. I like you even though you're different from me. I like you. Kind of like that. And his sound sounds like lightning. 
And you hear at the end of box and fox and phoenix and the letters and the number six. Um, X says X. X says X. Every letter makes a sound. X says X. Who else do we have here? Da -da -da. Here she is. She is Miss You. And she has an unusual umbrella. You cannot tell by looking at it how unusual it is, but she can use it to fly. She goes up, up, up with her unusual umbrella because the letter U says uh. U says uh. U says uh. Every letter makes a sound. U says uh. And Miss U's song sounds like up, up, up. I want to go up, 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 but I can't go up, up, up anymore. My unusual umbrella stopped going up, up, up. I can't go up, up, up anymore. And she sat at the beginning, but then she figures out how to make it go up, up, up again. And so at the end, she's happy and she's going up. She can fly with her unusual umbrella. Who's this? Here he is. Now we did him on video. We did his letter, but I didn't bring him home before that. So the week we were learning his letter, I didn't have his puppet. And then I went into school. Actually, then Miss, Mrs. Martinez went into school and got me my puppets. So she brought me this one. Do you remember who he is? He's Mr. Q. You see what he has all over him, these little things? They're question marks because Mr. U likes to ask lots of questions. Questions, questions. I love questions. Something like that. Because when I ask my questions, I learn a lot. I'm Mr. Q. I have so many questions. And when I ask my questions, I learn a lot. So questions starts with Q. The Q sound is qu, 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 right? Q says qu, Q says qu. Every letter makes a sound, Q says qu. Who else do I have in my bag? There are only one more, I think. Here she is. Which one is this? She's Miss. V, and she's wearing her vegetable vest. I see potatoes and carrots, and are those beans or peppers? That's a tomato. Vegetable vest, v vegetable vest. Oh, back here she's got some broccoli. Lots of good stuff. Is that lettuce or cabbage? Lots of good stuff. Vegetables are so good for you. And how does her song go? I'm Ms. V with my vegetable vest, my vegetable vest covered with vegetables, lettuce, tomatoes, carrots, and potatoes. Veggies give you vitamins, vitamins, vitamins. That also starts with V. Okay, V says V, V says V. Every letter makes a sound. V says V. Okay. So those are the letter people we've been doing since I've been home and making videos for you. And um, my idea for you today is that you can go around your house or wherever you are and find all the letters. If we were in school, we do this usually this week or at least sometime in May. Go around and find all the letters. And um, you know and the grown-ups you're with know what would be cheating, right? If we're at school, I don't let you use the letters that are on the writing center because I have the whole alphabet sitting right there, about five different copies of it just in the writing center. And I don't let you use the big letters that are up along the wall, up high along the ceiling. But I want you to look around where there are letters in a book, on a poster, 
on a newspaper or a magazine, on a game, on a, all over the place. You have letters and you'll find them. So like if I were using the calendar, I could mark off that I have M, A, and Y, and I have S and U and N. I could use all of the words on the calendar because when you start looking around in life, there are letters all over the place. So have a grown-up help you mark and try to find at least one of every single letter. You can do that, okay? And I will make a new video for you tomorrow. Probably it will be taking our butterflies outside and setting them free so that they can live among the flowers, okay? I love you. I'll make a new video tomorrow, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.